I realized that buildings were unsustainable from an environmental perspective. We're building cities on agricultural fields. So I, I really felt like it was important for us to reappropriate these spaces and create you know, something that's sustainable and that's good for everyone. So with Microhabitat, we want to integrate urban farming to optimize unused spaces in our cities. And by doing so, we get a chance to mobilize people and to support local communities. And that's a real change in becoming more sustainable in, in our urban settings. Companies like Microhabitat come along at the right time because sustainability continues its never-ending march in commercial real estate. And critical as things like energy efficiency are, they can't be touched and felt. They can't be tasted. And yet here along comes Microhabitat, and they actually provide things that you can touch and feel and even taste that drive forward the sustainability mission of the building in a meaningful way, and that connect the occupants of the building, the tenants, in a tangible way with their property managers. It feels good. It's a wonderful way to grow community, not just vegetables, and, and to just leave people feeling very good about the investment in sustainability in that building. We have three overall goals why we got involved with Microhabitat. Uh, the first one was community. Uh, the second one was sustainability. And the third one was food security. We've been looking for a company for a long time that could develop these types of gardens on our rooftops. We're not the experts in that, um, but we recognize that that little bit of real estate up there is valuable. Uh, and we wanted to have a good use for it. Green roofs are great. They they help offset the heat dome within the city of Toronto, and that's, that's a good thing. But the fact that you can have green on your rooftop and it gives back to the community, that to me is the ultimate goal. So we decided to create a business model that would integrate different level of impact. And we decided to create a program where we could pair corporate urban farms that were running and were operating and to give back uh, everything that we produce to local communities because we feel like it's important to be able to be change makers and if we have the power to help others in the community, we have to do it.